Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am here today in Scotland, still here in a, an area called Cooper. And today we are looking for Crawford Priory, which is an abandoned old mansion. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the, the house and the history as we get closer. So guys, we finally arrived here. So this is what remains of Crawford Priory. And this was the home here of uh, Mary Crawford. So this Crawford Priory was built in 1758 by the 21st Earl of Crawford. And it was abandoned in 1968. Now, when she died, her funeral service was actually held here in the Grand Hall of this abandoned mansion on the 21st of November, 1833. And what a beautiful place it is. Now it wasn't actually a priory, but I think they called it a priory because of its look. It had that look of a priory. Now the architect who designed this place was David Hamilton. And he put the Gothic look to the place later in years. So we're going to go around and have a look at maybe the front. I think this is the back of it. So we're going to have a closer inspection of this beautiful building. But just look at those windows and the architecture of this house. Very, very wealthy people to be living in a a place like this, to be honest. Oh, just look at that doorway. The work that has gone in to this place. Now, I believe there's a very, very grand staircase in this old mansion. So hopefully we'll be able to find that and show you. I would actually like to know where the, the grand hall is in the building. Because um, as I was saying, that's where Mary's funeral service was held when she died. And here we are guys, this is it. This is the grand staircase. I'll just stand back and show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. The original railing going up those stairs. And it's covered in mud at the moment. And just down here we have a, a kind of an underground area. And I don't know what that was. Was that like a pantry or some kind of underground area for servants. Now Mary, when she lived here, Mary Crawford, um, she lived here by herself in this huge place, believe it or not. And she lived here with her servants. Now she was very, very fond of animals. And uh, actually her animals are buried somewhere nearby in her own little pet cemetery she had. So hopefully we'll try and find that as well. And we can see the original tiles here. So these would have been all original here from the house. But that staircase. Amazing. Now I'm trying to figure out um, the grand hall. So this was the stairs that went up to another level, like the bedrooms and stuff. So I'm going to guess that in this direction here might have been the Grand Hall area. And that's just a guess. Somewhere, I think, oh, 
wow, this place is amazing. Absolutely stunning. Even though it's overgrown with nature. But I'm going to guess that this area that I'm looking at here would have been the Grand Hall. And this is where Mary Crawford and her body would have been laid out here at her wake and funeral. And all the servants and all the people would have been standing around this area bidding farewell to Mary Crawford. So guys, I'm going to make my way back out of here and uh, try and get some more footage because I do believe there's beautiful stonework and effigies and faces and stuff on the, the front of the building somewhere. So I'll try and get some of that as well. Wow, well, guys, just look at that. All original features. And uh, if I zoom in, you can see all that design and stonework. Original coving and stuff that are still there. Just look at that when you enter. Those faces on the the doorway entrance. So this is just another angle from outside here of the Crawford Priory here. How beautiful does that look? Castle style to it. Hello. Right guys, so I am still here in the Prawford Criery mansion area and I think I found the pet cemetery area. So I found a stone plaque here against this wall and this gives us an idea of what it is so here we can see the old favorite deer of George Earl of Crawford Lindsay so their middle name is Lindsay and you can just see here as well place him at his Something there is missing. And we can see the name Mary, 1812. So right here is where George and Mary Crawford buried their pet deer in this ground. Right underneath the window here. So, I'd imagine there's other animals buried here in this area. And you can actually see why this is probably the, the garden area. Because the original, the original stairs is just there. 